I have one person, one person asked me a question. The question is, if a person obeys God, does it mean uh, he will not face any difficulties? Okay, so the Bible does promise us that God will bless us when we obey God. Now, when we look at the Bible, uh, we see the example of Joseph in the Old Testament. He really followed God. He obeyed God. He had a close relationship with God. And he, um, he saw dreams of the future. And, uh, but his brothers were jealous of him. And the brothers wanted to sell him. They sold him to Egypt. Now, at that, in that period of time, he was really suffering. So when he obeyed God, it doesn't mean that he did not suffer. But at the end, when he continued to follow God and obey God, he will receive blessings and he will bring blessings to people. So at the end, even though he faced many difficulties, his whole life was a life of blessings to himself and to the other Israelites. So that's what happened when people obey God. And then um, we have the example of Paul, the, uh, the apostle. He obeyed God, but he was persecuted. But in his persecution, you know, he had joy and strength. Now, following God doesn't mean we don't have persecution. We still have persecution. We still have hard time because that's how it is. Because Jesus said that, you know, because uh, before they persecute you, they persecuted me. Before they hate you, they hated me. They hated Jesus first. And so they will also hate Christians. So as Christians, we will be hated by the world, but we'll have strength from the Lord. We'll have the peace of God and the special blessings of God, the special protection of God, even though we still face difficulties and persecution but we'll have strength and joy and uh, now many Christians were killed for their faith but in the process of suffering they will experience joy and strength and the presence of God to be with them and then they also experience eternal joy eternal blessings so it doesn't mean that we don't face difficulties but he will God will give us enough blessings so that our life will go higher and higher. The blessings of God uh, doesn't mean that uh, we don't have suffering. Actually, in Philippians 1.29, it 